Hey, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I wanna give you guys my favorite mods on the Dodge Challenger that really changed the look of the car and take it from looking like a base model to something like a little bit higher up, something that can improve the, the comfort of the car and the look of the car as, as well as the functionality. So let's go over them. These, these mods are not in any particular order and they're pretty cheap. So let's get into it. So the first one, in my opinion, are wheels and tires. These are wheels from a 2015 Scat Pack. I love this design over the base model wheels that are just really ugly, in my personal opinion. I love how they're black with the chrome or the silver. And I got them for the particular reason that they match with my grill. So if you don't like this silver grill, instead of blacking it out, you can just get some Scat Pack wheels. They match it perfectly. And they're factory, so they balance perfectly fine. And... As far as tires, I got Firehawk Indy 500s and they look absolutely aggressive. That tread pattern looks so aggressive. It's not that good on camera, but yeah, these wheels are, they're lightweight and they're strong and you know they're good quality because they're from Mopar themselves. So that's my first mod right there. This definitely changed the appearance of the car completely with the tread pattern and the wheels. Everyone asks me if it's a scat pack, but it's just an RT, not an RT scat pack, but that's, that's number one. The second mod, in my opinion, is going to be a black fuel door. I actually got this one from the dealership. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see the Mopar symbol, but unless you have chrome wheels, in my opinion, I, I do not like the chrome fuel door. It's super easy to take out. It takes like five minutes, and the fit and finish and everything is good, and it matches with these wheels with the black and silver and the black and the silver lettering. So that's definitely number two right there. Unless you have chrome wheels, you should keep it, but in my opinion, the black fuel door definitely makes the car look way better as there's a lot of black plastic on the car including the back so that's going to be number two okay so for number three guys it's going to be led headlight bulbs and fog light bulbs now this only goes for the base model cars that have halogen bulbs from the factory and if you have fog lights i recommend going with auxedo they don't flicker um the ones that do not have the little ballast connected to them those are the ones that don't that don't flicker it's plug and play super bright and it matches the rings even though you can't tell on camera but it matches the rings it's super bright it makes the car look way better so again if you don't if you have hids you won't be able to do this but if you don't want that ugly halogen looking yellow that's not bright at all for this car even though this car is a premium car it's quite expensive and halogen bulbs just don't cut it get led bulbs as you can see right there it's super bright so that's number three they're very easy to install including the fog lights and i got both sets um all sides for about 85 dollars on amazon i've never had an issue with them so that's definitely number three so number four is going to actually be in the interior and that's going to be an uconnect 8.4 touchscreen because the base models come with a seven inch screen i believe super easy to install you just remove the trim around it and it has a screw on each corner and it plugs and plays and it works perfectly fine and changes the whole look of the car everything else is plug and play and i got this one from a junkyard for about 400 dollars from a wrecked hellcat and it bolted right in and it completely changed the look of the car and it fits and plugs and play just perfectly fine so i definitely recommend that as well definitely changes the whole look of the interior Last on the list is going to be the Z Automotive Taser. This device right here changes the whole car. I got a red eye splash screen. And it just completely changes everything. The lettering, the font, everything, it changes it. The temperature, everything changes. And you're able to have the SRT pages performance pages everything everything it unlocks everything for you so the taser is definitely something that you would want to get it, it brings a lot of features including a cool down mode for the track light show you can roll down the windows with your key fob srt pages it unlocks everything everything that a hellcat would have and it also allows you to do this Let's see right here. Light show. It is unlock, unlock, lock, lock. There you go. Look at that right there, guys. Isn't that kind of cool? 
it, it goes with the taillights as well. You can toggle between different um, different ones, and then when you lock the car, it turns it off. So, yeah, those are that one's also one of my favorite mods on this car. For the next mod that I really like is the mid muffler and rear muffler delete. I got this kit from American Muscle. I also deleted the active exhaust valves just by zip tying them right there. And as you can see, I don't have mid mufflers. So that really changes the sound of the car. If you want sound clips and stuff like that, leave it below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do that as well. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, give it a like. I'm gonna be uploading more content not as as often as i should because i really don't have much to upload but give the like a video comment down below what else you want to see and if you have any questions about the modifications or anything like that and if you have your own personal favorite mods feel free to share them down in the comments below you know we're a big mopar community and we need to help each other out so if you guys have any questions put them down below i'll be more than happy to answer them and i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you